Thomas fans, it's me, Chica. <laughs> and today, I'm going to react to another Enterprise in Engine 93 video. And it's called Enterprise in Engine Split Bridge. Hmm, that sounds pretty interesting. I haven't seen it yet, so yeah. Anyway, let's get right on to it, shall we? Let's do it! <laughs> Sodor had many projects in store for the coming year. There was a great deal of future prospects regarding industry and expanding the railway enterprise. The Fat Controller called a meeting of the engines to discuss some of the future plans for the railway. The engines, however, were feeling restless. All right now, I've gathered as many of you as I could to get you up to speed on some of the railway's future projects. So without further ado... Is this a good time to file a complaint? One of the water towers at Kirk Ronan is absolutely filthy. Nah, tastes the best in my opinion. Besides, rust water builds character. Disgusting. Blah, that's awful. It tastes like rust? We've never had a problem like that before. Obviously none of you have ever been to Pittsburgh. Why are we here? We live at the Ironworks, and I fail to see the purpose of this meeting. I concur, brother. This is absurd. The last thing I want to do is have these useless steam kettles cramp our style. Useless, eh? Well, if I were under my own power, I'd bust you both to smithereens, courtesy of Scotland. I second the motion, doggy. All right, everyone, calm down. No, Edward, there won't be any calming down when yawn diesels are being so nasty. Scum of the earth, that's all you are. Ah, a little feisty, aren't we? Yar, matey. There be trouble brewing on the port bow. Look around us, rough seas, mutiny in our mist. It reminds me of a story. Okay, does he seriously think he's a pirate? Yes, everyone, just cool your jets. Honestly, all this arguing is bad for my swerves. Hey, uh, be quiet, everybody, for the lady show some, uh... Tis a diesels. Everyone shut up and show some courtesy for our lovely lady friend here. What? What was that? I wasn't talking to you, sweetheart. Don't flatter yourself. Enough, everyone! Shut up! Bless me, what's it take to have a moment's peace around here? Oh, Can't we all just get along? Excuse me, Mr. Oliver, but is it like this all the time? Most meetings are like this, Toad. It's amazing how much we argue when we're all in the same place at the same time. Haha. <laughs> The good old-fashioned family dynamic, that's us. Silence! Ooh. Now, with the bickering aside, I must be brief. This is going to be a very important year for us. Sodor is expanding, and I must tell you that I will expect a great deal from all of you. However, I'm sure you will all rise to the occasion and prove to be very useful. With these new projects comes great care and responsibility, and my plans will only be realized if we work together. There's a new lift bridge being built at Titmouth to make your jobs easier, so I expect that you will all be cautious and vigilant. The engines provided their full and undivided attention, while the Fat Controller revealed his grand vision for the coming year. A few months later, Oliver was working near the lift bridge. It had been built so that large building supplies could be transported to the Little Western for a new extension. All right, Toad, you'll be rolling with me today. We have a goods train to take to the small railway and a ballast train to bring back here. Very well, Mr. Oliver. Perhaps it will be an adventure to remember? Doubt it. Just a routine trip, here and back before you know it. Oliver and Toad arrived at the ballast chute, and were not surprised to see Frank and Mike arguing as usual. Mike was rather hot-headed at times, and Frank was inclined to be grumpy. So naturally, the two did not get along very well. Hurry up, Bumble Buffers. Look alive, won't you? I'll walk at my own pace, thank you. Why do you care? I'm just loading a ballast train, something far from extravagant. Exactly. I deserve to be entertained. Do something funny. Are you saying that I exist solely for your entertainment? 
Only if it makes your voice all high-pitched and hilarious. Such rowdy and rambunctious engines. I dare say, Mr. Oliver, it's days like these that make me take great pride in being a humble brake fan. Goodbye, lovebirds. I will say that collectively, you both never cease to entertain. Oliver chuckled and made his way back to the junction. Later, Murdoch was chatting with Duck, who seemed to know everything there was to know about the new lift bridge. Please run that by me again, just so I understand. Is it like a signal? Sort of. The signals have all been wired to warn engines if the bridge is in the upright position. That way, when an engine is close to the bridge, they'll know when to stop. Ah, how remarkable! Suddenly, out of the blue, a fuse box had short-circuited, incapacitating a certain signal. Oliver was returning from the small railway and couldn't be warned of this. Oh no, that's Oliver's whistle. The bridge is... It was too late. Before anyone could act, Oliver descended bunker first off the rails and blocking the line below. To make matters worse, Henry was pushing freight cars onto the bridge and smashed into Oliver's wreck. <laughs> Talk about insult to injury. Excuse me, Mr. Oliver, but insult to injury implies that someone made a derogatory remark following an unfortunate incident. I'm inclined to believe this situation was injury to injury. Oliver, you clumsy great engine! I stand corrected. The fat controller had witnessed the entire calamity and gazed hopelessly upon the wreckage. He turned solemnly to the horizon. I have a grand design in the works, and I certainly hope this disaster is not an omen of what the future holds for us. And with that, the fat controller walked away. This is actually really cool. <laughs> and the best part is that my leg thing really is funny. <laughs> yeah. In other words, this video was awesome. And Enterprise and Engines, if you're watching this, I'm going to react to more of your videos. As long as we're under 10 minutes, of course. <laughs> anyway, cuties. Thank you for watching my reaction. This is Chica the Chicken saying subscribe to Enterprise and Engines 93. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next reaction. Bye bye. Oh, <laughs> love you. Oh, my boy. Benjamin Emerson Chapter 4 is out now. Play it. <laughs>